Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mary. Currently I'm pregnant with our second baby girl and at this moment when I'm filming this video I'm 33 weeks pregnant already which means for me personally it's a perfect time to pack my hospital bag since I'm not a last minute person and I love to have everything ready beforehand in case I end up forgetting something or missing out on something I have enough time to take care of those things it gives me actually a peaceful mind to know that my bag is packed already so today together with you we are going to pack my hospital bag I am taking only the most necessary things for me I am going to pack as minimalistic as possible and it is worth to say that if I end up missing something or if I end up uh, really needing something we live only five minutes away from the hospital so that's not gonna be a problem for my husband just to get me those things in a moment and also uh, on the in the hospital website where I'm going to give birth we have a list of the necessary things that you have to take with you and of course a list of the things that the hospital provides you and my hospital is providing tons of stuff uh, which I don't need to take with me I have already uh, been in this hospital with Audrey so I know exactly what they have and what they don't have so we are going to pack very light and it will be good for you as well before packing your hospital bag to check with your hospital to see what they require you to bring with you and really just pack as less as possible because most of the like in most of the cases you don't need all the things you packed with you let's pack together so this is the bag i am planning to take with me to the hospital i have it already for many many years like five years at least and i love it it's fabric it's not leather so my things inside it are not gonna get stingy which was very important for me this time when i was picking up uh, choosing a bag it is actually quite large it fits tons of stuff here and if i need more space it has like zips on the side which i can make the bag even bigger it has so many pockets everywhere and i actually i really really love this bag so i also made a list of the things that i can't pack right now for example my phone camera batteries and chargers <laughs> and I'm going to have this list on the top of my bag so when I'm leaving the house I will just go through the list and see what I needed I have put here the documents that we need packed it already here uh, worth to mention like you have to check with your hospital as well what kind of documents they are requiring from you in case you're married or you're divorced or you're widowed you're gonna need different types of document in my case it's just like passport id insurance card which i always carry with me in my wallet of course birth certificate from audrey mary certificate and am i forgetting something i think that was it what they're requiring but i have them also written down here so i know what i need and of course you're not allowed to forget the car seat because you have to be, bring the baby home the next thing i'm taking with me are these towels i realized when i was just searching for the things that i don't have two matching towels in my whole house i have a lot of white uh, towels but i'm not gonna take white with me if you gave birth already you know how messed up things get in the hospital and you don't want to have something white with you in case like you know it gets dirty the next thing that i'm going to take with me is a, a gown a birthing gown um, normally in germany you don't get a hospital gown in, in unless it's a surgery c-section or something then they will provide you with with a gown but uh, you have to take yours if you're planning a natural na natural birth which i am planning and i'm going to take this one it has uh, buttons in the front so when i have to when the baby comes and i'm wearing this and i have to press with the baby i can easily unbutton it and uh, it will make my life easier of course to press with the baby it is also worth to mention that i'm not taking anything fancy or expensive with me since i already gave birth and i as i told you i know how messed up things get and in case i have to throw this away i my heart won't hurt for the money i paid for i am also packing two pairs of uh, pajamas with me they are uh, also uh, breastfeeding pajamas one in white you can open up here and breastfeed the baby 
um, one in pink and uh, of course they come with maternity pants which is also great also underwear I have one two three four five pairs of underwear uh, with me and make sure you're not taking any fancy underwear make sure it's not like some kind of like you have to have a very comfy underwear because after you give birth you get huge pads uh, for bleeding because you are going to bleed a lot and you have you want to have an underwear that will hold the pad for me i don't have to take the pads with me since the hospital is providing me but i am taking normal pads from always um secure night these are the biggest ones i think i could find and i remember it, they were totally enough for me when after i gave birth i remember in the hospital i was wearing the pads that hospital provided but on the on the way home i used this one and at home i used these ones as well even though i had the big ones i never ended up using the big ones i'm taking two thinner socks and one thicker socks in case i get like cold feet also i am taking one breastfeeding bra uh, and one normal bra i love them more than the breastfeeding ones of course because they are so comfortable also for my hospital stay i am taking two basic t-shirts nothing fancy in case they get like messed up or so, something you know i have the black ones it will cover everything and they're very stretchy and comfortable i love them a lot and i am taking one pair of jogging pants which are actually warm ones in case i feel really really cold and it is uh, large enough uh, to like i can fit into these pants even now with my pregnant belly so it's not gonna be a problem after giving a birth i am also taking one pair of leggings probably i will wear this when i'm coming home uh, I still fit into these leggings they're not maternity but i fit into them as well i am also ta taking one a nice uh, top with me in case the photographer comes you know when you're in the uh, in the hospital normally a photographer comes to you and wants to make like uh, cute pictures with audrey we didn't get one because i think i gave birth over the weekend and the photographer photographer was not there but uh, i am still taking one top with me in case we end up taking uh, pictures and also one cardigan if i feel cold or if i want to go for a walk and of course on the way home and as a last clothing item i'm taking with me one of the most unnecessary things in the world and i like a robe I just got it like the Amazon delivered it like an hour ago so it's not washed and ironed yet I'm going to wash it after this video of course uh, my experience tells me I'm not gonna need it I always take a rope with me to the hospitals and I never use it the next thing I'm taking with me are a pair of oh, here slippers they're not the cutest ones but they're I have had them for five years already. They belong to my hospital bag. They're always in this uh, side pocket. Um, so I don't, I never have to think about them. I just wanted to show you which slippers I'm taking. So they're rubber slippers. In case they get dirty or something, they're easy to clean. I don't like to have too much fabric or material stuff in the hospital since you know the hospitals are not the most cleanest, like the cleanest place ever. And, um, I have them for years i can even take a shower with them and they will be dry in a minute which is amazing as well and i don't have to lean to put them on i can just slide into them they're very comfortable i actually love them and as i told you they belong in my bag i never take them out and now the products like i that i am going to use and i advise you to use after giving birth you are going to need or I would advise you to take like uh, wet toilet paper with you because you know everything is so messed up down there you are going to need something soft something not irritating and uh, like and something that will really clean you and i'm taking uh, this one it is uh, uh and Zisha from dm okay the name uh, you don't you can't take anything it's but ultra sensitive that's 
that was the point <laughs> I was trying to tell you. Also one thing that I have never taken with me, but I have seen so many YouTubers talking about that. I did not know that these kind of things exist um, in the world and I'm so happy to, to have discovered them now. Uh, it is regeneration spray now from Mother Love. I have never tried this spray before. This is actually uh, meant for your lady parts after you give birth and you have a cut, which I had. I had four degrees cut last time and I did not know that these things exist. Um, so it, it really hurts and you will need a spray which cools down, which helps you regen regenerate better and heal better or make the healing process quicker. I am going to try this, you guys. I got this one in Amazon and I really really hope this is going to help me. I am also going to take normal wet napkins and dry napkins of course. Uh, I don't know about you guys but I'm not going anywhere without this thing here. These are uh, nickel shields and uh, I am so glad. I didn't know that you know when I first time when I gave birth for the first time, I could not imagine how much your breast can hurt after you breastfeed. In my head right now, the breastfeeding process is much more painful than giving birth process. I don't know why it stayed like that in my head, but this time I'm not going anywhere without my nipple shields and I know the hospital does not provide that. But the hospital provides, of course, like a lanolin, cream and like uh, stuff for your breast to help you. I'm still taking some um, something from Multimum. I'm taking my cream and I'm taking the a compress from the Multimum in case, you know, the nurses are uh, busy and I don't get it on the time or I don't get enough. I know I always have mine with me. So I don't think this is extra thing to uh, take with me and it's worth to mention of course after this video I'm going to sterilize this please do not forget to sterilize everything that's gonna go into your baby's mouth uh, after this video I'm going to t do that and here is like a small container for the shields and I will of course try to sterilize it right before we go to the hospital as well in case we go to a plant induction. Now my cosmetic bag. So I'm taking two cosmetic bags uh, with me, one with my makeup, the other one with my self-care products and stuff. And uh, I really, really love to print on this one. It's so cute. I got this um, cosmetic bag from the Primark and I love their bags. I, they have the cutest. So in here I have a travel size shampoo from Vichy. Also, I'm taking with me a shower gel from Veleda. Again, a travel size. Just make sure you get everything travel size because you don't want to carry too much stuff. A deodorant from Vichy. I am taking a hairbrush. This is for wet hair, so it will be easier for me to come my hair. I'm taking a toothbrush and a travel size toothpaste. A mouthwash disinfection spray. I am also taking this um, makeup removal uh, napkins with me. So now my makeup bag you guys. For my skincare I'm taking these assemblers for Vichy. They're moisturizing creams. I'm going to take them from for the day and for the night. I'm not taking like night cream and day cream. I don't think there is a point to that. I am also taking my CC cream from uh, bourgeois I really love the coverage here and I can apply it with my hands I am taking a sampler of Lancome I love this concealer so much I do have the real size as well and I also have the um, a small uh, a small sampler so it's perfect for my bag I I am taking this bronzer from brand called Halushka. I don't really like it but I think for hospital it's fine because it comes with a brush as well so it will be easy to apply. Makeup I'm just taking in case we get a photo shooting. I don't think I'm going to put makeup on in the hospital and I'm sure I'm not gonna get any visitors or I won't, allowed, I won't be allowed to get any visitors in the hospital since COVID. Um, 
because of the COVID and I don't think there will I will need makeup but maybe if we get like a photo shooting or something I will put some makeup on my highlighter stick here from Ember Valletta I have my travel size real technique multi-purpose brush and a real technique sponge travel sized mascara from NYX my favorite actually NYX butter gloss uh, eyeliner eyebrow shaper or eye eyebrow pencil however you call it anyway and I'm taking a Vaseline for my lips because I know especially during the birth I'm going to get during the labor I'm going to get really really dry lips scrunchies <laughs> to put my hair up and this was my makeup actually so as for my baby girl I'm not going to take much stuff with me since the hospital is going to provide us with diapers with burping clothes with hospital stay over clothes the only thing they require us to bring with with is uh, her homecoming outfit and an outfit in case we want to get a photo shooting even though i know that the uh, the photographer has cute little outfits for the baby as well for the babies as well we can choose their of course if we want to try one of them but for my baby girl i am taking uh, this small little <laughs> newborn wensy with a little pink heart on it and i'm talking a long sleeve since it is going to be october or end of september and it is going to be a little bit chilly here in germany and you know the newborns are getting cold so easily so i'm going to take that wensy and to match with it I'm taking these uh, fluffy pants, they're actually very soft materials, they're fluffy and warm. This cute little one for the photo shooting. I will decide if I will, which hat do I want to wear, do I want her to wear. Uh, I, can't, I still can't decide, so I'm taking both of them. We will see. Uh, also, for her homecoming, um, I mean, I can still use this Wednesday for the homecoming. I don't think anything bad is going to happen with that. And I'm going to take this fleece overall with, uh, with me. It is fleece material, white with bunny on the top. So, so cute with buttons here in the front. It is really easy to put the baby into this thing. And I am sure she will be warm in here and looking so cute. I can't wait to see her little face. I am also taking two pairs of stocks for her one I love mommy because I'm sure she does she she loves me and the other one born in 2020 which I find so so cute I also have like an overall with born in 2020 and I absolutely love it I'm taking these two pairs with me just in case something that the hospital did not provide us last time is uh, like a swaddler and I did not buy one for Audrey last time and I regretted it afterwards like by the time I understood that how how cool these things are Audrey was already three four months old so for my second daughter I decided to get a swaddler and I'm taking it with me to the hospital it's actually easy to put on need to decide how I think it is like this well, I will figure it out in the hospital how to put this thing on my baby. I'm taking two of the swaddlers. For homecoming, I'm taking this uh, fluffy jacket with me. It's a fur jacket. This is Audrey's jacket. I actually love it. Oh, I can't, I can't. I miss her so much. I can't believe that Audrey was, uh, wore this jacket. But this is a newborn and I did not buy a new one. I thought it, it looks perfectly fine and it is from my first daughter so for homecoming to keep my little girl cozy and warm i'm going to take this jacket it's from h&m i think they still have this it's their basic collection i'm going to put this on to keep her warm and cover her with a blanket uh, this is also audrey's blanket but i had like ten thousand blankets from audrey and i did not think i have to get a new blanket again it does not have any initials of Audrey or anything, so it is going to be fine. And besides, I took care of Audrey's things so, so good. So I'm glad that I have it. And I'm taking two 
perfume, perfume clothes with me just in case you know like if we're in car and accident happens or I need to cover her or something I think this was it you guys I think I have everything now now I can pack my bag after this video of course uh, ah. also pacifier forgot the pacifier I'm taking this pacifier of course I'm going to sterilize it right after this video and uh, this time I am taking with me Philips the ones from Philips Advent I know Audrey loved them and they're coming with the containers so it's very practical to sterilize them and then put them into the container and not worry that they will get like messed up in the bag or you know it's very comfortable and I know from Audrey she loved it so now I think I am done with this video I know it, it is going to be a very very long video I will try to keep it or edit it in as short as possible if you guys think that I am missing out on something please let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what are your uh, must haves in the hospital or, or, or what are you taking with you that I'm not taking with me I know I could take like a breastfeeding pillow but for two days, I think I will come clear without that. I don't want to have extra baggage with me, really. So this was my minimalistic bag for two, three days. We will see in case I get C-section, I have to change here a little bit. Or in case I have a labor where I have to stay longer in the hospital, my husband may end up bringing some stuff uh, to me to the hospital. But these are the basic things that the hospital needs me to bring and that I have to have with me. So you guys, I hope you found this video informative and useful for you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video through. If you, of course, you made it till the end. Have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next videos. Bye.